Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Amel, AKA Noir. And right now I'm just gonna give you a quick motivational video just to kind of spice you up a little bit because I know you've been feeling a little down. It's not a coincidence that you found this video. Actually, we found you, <laughs> all right? So look, sometimes we go through these little transitions in our lives where we just kind of question everything. Am I in the right place? Am I doing the right thing? Am I living my life the correct way? And did I cut off that person for the right reasons? And so many things we question and we ask ourselves, did we do the right thing? My answer to you, hell yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah, you did. I'm sorry. Sometimes we just kind of free fall and we just have to go with how the universe takes us. Sometimes we have to leave that job. Sometimes we have to cut off that friendship. Sometimes we have to leave situations for the betterment of our own good. Um, many times in my life, I had to strategize and I've had to plan on leaving and disconnecting myself from uh, both people and situations, not only because it was just that time and the ending of that season, it's because it was just that time for me. It was the time for me to grow. And I felt this thing over here could not get me to this thing over here as far as growth. When I met, what do I mean by growth? I mean by spiritually, um, physically, mentally. If those things cannot connect for you to help you move forward, then you have to then question, why am I keeping this thing here? Whether that's a person, place, or thing, you have to question everything for the betterment of your own good. Now, when we say that, there's this quote that came up and I'm gonna look up really quick for you. And the quote says, you are the artist of your own life. Don't hand the paintbrush to anyone else. When I saw this quote, it just made me go, okay, okay, I, that's, that's the sign I was looking for. It's one of those things to where you just kind of just sit back and say, wow, I am my own artist. I am in control of my own paintbrush, which would be my life. You yourself dictate your path. You and whatever you believe in, whether that be the universe, your ancestors, and if you even if you don't believe in that, you still are in control on where you go from here on out. You have to understand that nobody else is responsible for your path outside of you, okay? Those people that you want to hang out with that's not living within that fulfillment of their life and their purpose, cut them off. The family sometimes as well that does not living within that purpose and they're constantly keeping you in this low vibrational state, you have to sometimes cut them off. Sometimes it's for the better, sometimes it's for the worse, but guess what? In the end, you will realize that the decision that you made is strictly for you. And honestly, when it really comes down to it, you're, you have to, you just have to. I know a lot of the times we fight against it, but what are you fighting for? If you are staying in this situation, right? You're staying in this place and you know that it's not good for you. You know that it's not helping you move forward. You know that it's not filling you. It's not filling you. It's not fulfilling you spiritually, mentally, and in, in any other type of E. <laughs> you know it's not, it's not feeding you. Why are you there? I, I give you my own situations. There's been a couple of times I've had to cut off friends. It's not that I didn't love them. It's not that I didn't appreciate them. It's the fact that I've noticed that they they rather just stay here in this situation. They don't want to grow. They want to stay in a very low dysfunctional place. I'm not there anymore. Sometimes you have to really realize in your own growth, you have to realize where you were to understand where you are going. If you yourself realize this is a low vibrational state, that's the first step to moving forward. Sometimes you have to make those difficult, those di very difficult cuts and you have to say, damn, I have to say goodbye. Do that for yourself. If you need help, I suggest you do what I do. This is one of my newer journals, right? I journal in this thing. It's brand new, but I'm still like, first few pages, I'm just writing. I'm writing, I'm writing. And I fulfill it, front and backwards. Sometimes you're gonna need to do that to really understand where you are. Sometimes you're gonna really have to write down your own thoughts and say, where was I six months ago? Where was I a year ago? Where was I five years ago? Where was I 10 years ago? These books can help you determine how far you've come along from your past to where you are now. I have about four journals. They lay, they lie around the house. Sometimes one is in my backpack, one is in the living room. This one stays in my bedroom. And another one I just have that's just a floater. And sometimes I grab it and I just write stuff down. It's almost like putting together a big storybook of thoughts. And when you read it for yourself, you'll become so intrigued as to I've grown from here and I'm here now. What got me there? Take the time to understand your triggers. 
take the time to understand who you are as a person. And if you do not know that, disconnect yourself from other people so you can understand who you are. It may not be the best person for everybody else or the other people, uh, other people that you hang out with may not be the best for you. That's for you to determine. That's for you to figure out. That's not for you to put that burn it off on your friendship circle, your other social circle, your work circle, your family circle. Sometimes you really have to disconnect in order to understand who you truly are and how connected you are to a higher source, whatever that may be for you. For me, mind, body, and spirit always has to connect. And if it rubs me the wrong way, sometimes I have to say goodbye. And um, with that being said, I hope that this video helped you out. It was supposed to be short, but I will drop these occasionally. Hopefully, they can help somebody find out where that path is going to because not all of us know. Hell, sometimes I have trouble knowing where my path is going, but I figure it out as it presents itself. The, the trick is to not just mask it, not just push it down, not just say, I'll deal with it later. Deal with it now. Because the more that you push it down, the more you push it down, the more you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget about it, forget about that, forget about that, forget about that. Eventually, it bubbles up and it pops over and now you're having to deal with triggers and you kind of try to have to figure out what's triggering you, what's setting you off. And you come to realize it's things that you put off from way back, way, way back there. Deal with it right now. Whether it's work, relationships, friendships, whatever it may be, do not put it off. Take care of yourself you take care of yourself first you matter okay if nobody else is telling you that i'm telling you you matter to this world no self-deletion no none of that that's not an option for you all right it's not a, look at me self-deletion is not an option say it with me self-deletion is not an option you are put on this earth for a particular reason do not take that for granted find out what that purpose is and live in it okay and to end this video off on the right note in my own fashion, while you're here, check out whatever video they are posting. <laughs> whatever video that they're presenting right here that's going to pop up on the screen right here, just, just go ahead and just check it out. Just stay here while you're here and then just go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Heavy on the comments, heavy on the likes, heavy, heavy on the subscribing. Make sure that we get to the right place, all right? Much love.